G'day guys, Chaos Chronicles. All right, so I've had a fair few people ask me if we could talk about um, the Barwon prison boss that went missing um, very shortly after um, Carl Williams, the Victorian drug kingpin, was killed, um, allowed to be killed in um, Supermax in Victorian Barwon prison. So, all right, let's get into it. A powerful prison boss vanishes in the Victorian high country. Did he die? Did he leave? Was he shot? But no trace has ever been found of David Prudhoe. Things can disappear into this country very, very easily. Yes, yeah, something's not right here. It was... So it was the 5th of June. So on the 5th of June uh, 2011, David... Prudhoe went on a fishing trip. Uh, David Prudhoe was um, the on a hunting trip, sorry, was the GM, the general manager, the head man, no one higher than him, at Barwon Prison. So one of um, Victoria's maximum security. And um, on this date, he went on a hunting trip with his brother-in-law, Robert Dale. And... Um, on this day, they both spent the day hunting or whatever, and then they decided to split up um, and for a short amount of time. They were both deer hunting. They both had deer hunting rifles and hunting equipment, and they were at Mount Sterling, um, which is in country Victoria. Um, I believe it's in between. It's like just out of Mansfield. It's the next mountain from Mount Buller anyway. Anyway, um, so... After about an hour, he realised that, you know, he hadn't heard from David. Robert hadn't heard from David or anything like that. So he thought, I'm going to go walk up to him. And, yeah, only to find out when he got there, he wasn't anywhere in sight. So he'd done a, a search of the area, wasn't there. So they decided to, he decided to go back to the hunting. Um, they were at, there's, um, in most of Australian um, national state forests, they have lodges there like huts that anyone can stay in and um yeah they're just like four walls with a fireplace and anyway so he thought that robert thought that david might have gone back to there so he thought all right i'm going to go back there and in this time he's doing the old letting certain gunshots off that they knew um you know if they got missing and and there was just absolutely nothing so um yeah he continued um looking around that night, he ended up going to sleep. Now, he didn't call emergency services until the next morning or until some hours later anyway. Now, it's believed that he still thought that, that he was going to come back, but he didn't come back. And, um, yeah, and then he called emergency services and then obviously a massive, like, um, hunt search um, ensued. And, um, yeah, it was unsuccessful and they haven't found him and this was in 2011 and um yeah obviously it's 2023 is his disappearance linked to the murder of crime boss carl williams who is obstructing our journey to find the truth adam shand investigates do you think he was murdered yes and finds a family torn apart I don't believe those, those rumours. They're actually true. No, it is a tragedy. Yeah, obviously it's 2023 and, um, yeah, a lot of stuff's happened in between there and, um, yeah, absolutely crazy. But what makes it crazier is that this same guy was under so much, like, scrutiny and so much public outcry for what happened to Carl Williams in the state's most secure prison and secure unit in that prison. Um, and all the prison guards that were on duty in that Supermax that day all said that they were playing a game of cricket while they were supposed to be watching the state's most high-profile prisoner. And the other, I think there was three other prisoners in that unit with him. They were the next down the line high profile prisoners. That was the foremost high profile prisoners in Victoria. And, and this was allowed to happen. And it's absolutely crazy. And as you know, like um, 
Matty Johnson is the leader of the POWs and, um, you know, he, he, he's a bad mofo and, and um, Carl Williams died at the hands of um, Matty, Matty Johnson and, and was allowed to do it. And, and yeah, I think it was something like 26 minutes later until a officer turned up to what had happened, you know. It's sus as, and um, yeah, what makes it even more sus is like very shortly after, um, yeah, this guy goes for a hunting trip and um, yeah, doesn't ever come back. And um, his rifle, everything, nothing has been found, not one shred of clothing, clothing. There has been no evidence whatsoever found. Um, and yeah, so... I believe the coroner report said that he had gone missing and maybe is lost still there somewhere. And because of how much this terrain changes um, with the the months and the seasons, that they still believe that he could be in there. But um, it's also widely believed um, there is a, the same amount of people that believe that it's very suspicious the way he died and or the way he went missing and they they believe that there's there's more powers to play at this you know um i, I think it's it's sus as and i think it's like it's red hot too like it's more front than myers like it's a problem if you put yourself in their position like obviously they're saying that this boss knew about what was going to happen. So we're talking about big, big money involved in, like Carl Williams had millions of dollars on his head. Do you know what I mean? So we're talking about big, big money here that would make very straight people turn very not straight in a heartbeat, that kind of money, you know? So it's big money. And yeah, it's very widely believed that he was involved and if you put yourself in their position, it's 100% would be the smartest thing to do to get rid of the only person that knows. And that's why everyone believes that that is what's happened. And, you know, I believe it too. I, I really do believe that that is what's happened. So let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Um, and, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have a chat about it and um, we'll see. It's just crazy. And I think it's absolutely bonkers that it was allowed to happen. And then... Like I said, there's more front there than Myers than just knocking off the boss like straight after it. That's just crazy. But yeah, which makes, if you guys haven't um, chucked me a subscribe, that would be absolutely awesome. If you guys can subscribe, smash that bell. That way you will never miss any of my videos and chuck a comment down there and we can get a little conversation going about this video. Once again, I'm so humbled by everyone's interaction with my videos. My page is growing nicely. And yeah, I'm really, really happy about the way things are going. So yeah, watch this space, guys. So many more awesome videos to come. All right, guys, much love. I've been the Chaos Chronicles. I am Biff. You guys have been absolutely awesome. See you in the next video. Cheers.